She goes, we got the results of your blood work and there's a pregnancy. I was shocked. I felt like I got the wind knocked out of me. My head was spin, like I was so dizzy. Jeanette McCurdy recounting a terrifying pregnancy scare. It was a difficult reality to come to terms with. The former actress opens up about the moment on her podcast, Hard Feelings, explaining it happened while she was attempting to control her long-standing acne struggles with Accutane. You have to take a test to show that you know all the, the risks involved, and you have to sign a, a contract saying that you will not get pregnant. Under no circumstances will you get pregnant while taking Accutane. And she goes, we got the results of your blood work, and there's a pregnancy. I was shocked. I felt like I got the wind knocked out of me. My head was spin, like I was so dizzy. Jeanette recalls how at the time, she couldn't grasp that she could be expecting a child. It was so terrifying. And I'm recounting like recent sexual activities. I was replaying everything and thinking like, how is this possible? I don't know this, how, how could this be? Like, and they're like, is there a chance that you could be pregnant? And I'm like, what? You, you said I was pregnant. You said I, there was a pregnancy. What do you mean, is there a chance? It sounds like you know there's not just a chance, but there's certainty. Turns out it was a false positive. I'm not pregnant and it is fine. But that experience was so terrifying that I was like, I got to get off this. Sh like, this is not for me. While the pregnancy scare ended her Accutane journey entirely, Jeanette says it didn't stop her from trying to find another solution. I'm 31 and I am still struggling, capital S struggling with acne. I've struggled with it my entire life since I was maybe 15, 16. This one's the hardest, it's just like accepting it. I have no wisdom, I have no insight. I just have heaps of insecurity about my acne. The star admits she thought it might have stemmed from the thick caked on makeup she wore while acting in her teen years. And this is I but after she left Hollywood in 2017, she says she saw no difference. It's an experience that you can only relate to if you've been in it. Jeanette did share a glimmer of hope with her listeners though, saying she'd finally discovered something that worked in an added bit at the end of the podcast. I first recorded this episode on acne a couple weeks ago and I was really in the hopelessness of it. I'm re-recording it now because I have found something that has worked and it is called the miracle of benzoyl peroxide. This has changed my skin in the course of a week. I can't believe it. Jeanette joins a growing list of celebs speaking out about their skin struggles. A lot of honesty there for sure. From Millie Bobby Brown. These pimples up here are not happy. This one right here isn't. Um, I think they're hormonal, but I just cleaned my face. To Alex Earl. My self-esteem was like negative 1000. My whole camera roll is basically pictures of my face like this. I just want to talk about the fact that it's normal. And even Charlie D'Amelio. It's my face, you know? I, I see it every morning when I look in the mirror, every night before I go to bed. If I can feel comfortable knowing that my acne might be acting up, I feel like if I can just be myself on the internet, it's really about having confidence in myself. And if that helps anyone else, that makes it 10 times better.